The sun hung low on the horizon, casting a golden glow over the vast rolling waves of the ocean. Young Eric stood at on the rocky Scandinavian shore, his eyes wide with wonder as he gazed out at the endless expanse of, wa of water. Eric's small hand clutched his father's rough, calloused one as they walked together, searching for the perfect tree. Each step they took was marked by the crunch of pebbles and shells beneath their feet. Eric's imagination soared as he collected small, smooth stones from the shore, envisioning them as distant lands waiting to be discovered. He pointed at the seagulls flying high above, their white feathers glinting in the sunlight. Someday, father, Eric said, his voice filled with the innocent certainty of youth. I'll sail beyond the horizon and see just where those birds go. His father smiled, his eyes crinkling at the corners. I, Eric, but first we need to build you a ship. They continued their search until they found it. A mighty oak stalling standing tall and proud in a sun-dappled clearing. The tree's massive trunk was rough to the touch, its bark weathered by countless seasons. Sunlight filtered, filtered through its leaves, creating a mosaic of light and shadow on the forest floor. This is the one, Father. Eric's father nodded, patting the trunks, patting the tree's sturdy trunk. Sorry, this oak will make a fine ship. Eric, Eric's dad nodded, feeling a thrill of anticipation. He reached out to touch the tree. Eric reached out to touch the tree, imagining the ship it would become and the adventures it would carry him on. In the cramped, dimly lit, in the cramped space of the shipyard, the air was thick with the scent of fresh wood and burning pitch. The rhythmic thud of hammers and the sharp bite of saws filled the space, a cacophony of creation. The ship, not yet alive but filled with potential, lay on the workbench. Rough hands pressed against its side, def defining its shape, molding its destiny. Eric watched in awe as the shipbuilders worked, their movements precise and practiced. The shipyard was a world of shadows and light, the flicker of flames casting eerie patterns on the walls. The scent of burning pitch filled the air, each slather a sacred offering to the gods of the sea. Eric's eyes widened as he saw the intricate carvings being etched on the prow. Fierce dragons and serpents, symbols of protection and fear. As the ship took shape, it began to embody the very essence of the culture surrounding it. The long serpent, her, his father said, with a sturdy wood construction and intricate carvings was born. Eric noticed its long, narrow hull was designed for swift navigation through the open seas and shallow rivers showcasing the Vikings' deep understanding of maritime engineering and navigation. The ship's prow adorned with a fearsome dragon head glinted in the dim light. Every detail from the ornate carvings to the smooth curves of the hull spoke of a culture deeply connected to the sea and its mysteries. The workers stepped back, admiring their creation. Eric's father placed a hand on the young lad's shoulder his voice filled with pride. This is your serpent, er Eric, the long serpent, your ship. May she carry you to the ends of the earth and back. Eric's heart swelled with excitement and pride. He could almost hear the roar of the ocean, the crash of the waves against the hull. The long serpent was more than just a ship. It was a promise of adventure, a gateway to the unknown. Eric's voice was filled with excitement as he spoke to the ship. One day, I will sail across the vast ocean, explore unknown lands, and carve my name into history with you. He declared his eyes alight with dreams. The shipyard workers paused to watch the boy. 
their expressions a mixture of amusement and respect. Eric's father stood nearby, pride shining in his eyes as he watched his son bond with the long serpent. As Eric walked around the ship, the sun continued to set, casting long shadows and highlighting the details of the ship. The shipyard itself had gradually brightened in the golden light, creating an almost ethereal atmosphere. In that moment, the long serpent was more than just a ship. It was a symbol of a boy's quest for adventure and glory. And as Eric stood there bathed in the golden light of the setting sun, the long serpent's journey truly began. The day had finally come. The long serpent with Eric and his crew aboard prepared to set sail. The ship's sleek design captured the imagination and curiosity of onlookers. As the sails unfurled and the ship glided gracefully into the water, the world seemed to hold its breath. The vastness of the ocean stretched out before them to the serpent's eyes. It was a canvas of endless blue under clear skies and at times a churning mass of gray during stormy weather. Each wave, gentle or fierce, was part of the journey. The sea became alive with the sounds of crashing hulls or crashing waves against the hull, the creaking of masts and the shouts of the crew during various battles. The tang of salty spray mixed with the acrid smoke of burning ships and the musky scent of animal skins worn by the crew. As the long serpent set sail at each destination, Eric stood at the helm, his eyes filled with determination. The crew of now skilled warriors and fierce sailor sailors were ready for adventure and conquest. The ship felt their excitement, their anticipation, and shared in their eagerness. Time passed and Eric matured. He started as a wide-eyed young sailor full of dreams and wonder. As the seasons turned, he became a skillful warrior, his hands steady and strong. Eventually, he stood as a seasoned captain at the forefront, commanding respect and loyalty from his crew. Eric, now fully grown, stood proudly on the deck of the Long Serpent, his voice carrying over the sea. Today we carve our own legends. We sail in search of more fortune and glory for our kin. His words were met with cheers from his crew, their spirits lifted by his unwavering confidence. That particular battle had left its mark on the serpent. The clash of swords and the cries of warriors filled the air, had filled the air. The ship had sustained damage. Its one pristine, once pristine hull, <laughs> scarred by the violence of the fight. Crew members were lost in their absence, weighed heavy on the heart of those who remained. The long serpent pound, pondered the countless journeys it had un undertaken and the lives it had carried. It had been a vessel of dreams and ambition, a guardian of warriors and adventurers. Now as it looked back, it could fill a sense of wonder, fulfillment, and also a little hint of melancholy. Eric, now with gray in his beard and wisdom in his eyes, stood at the bow once more, looking out at the horizon. The long serpent, ever faithful, was ready for what lay ahead. Together they would fat face one last adventure the final chapter in their storied history. After many years of legendary voyages, the Long Serpent reached a safe harbor. This was no ordinary stop. It was a resting place, tucked away for safekeeping after Eric's final journey. The ship knew this harbor well, for it had been chosen by Eric itself, a pre-planned burial site meant to honor both the vessel and its captain. The crew gathered on shore, their hearts heavy with the weight of the moment. The ship was to be buried beneath the earth. 
the long serpent fell the sol solemn <laughs> sorry guys felt the solemnity of the occasion the end of an era as the earth was piled atop the long serpent it felt the weight pressing down a final embrace from the world it once had roamed the mournful chants of the crew filled the air a haunting melody that spoke of their reverence and sorrow the long serpent lay in darkness memories swirling within its timbers it recalled the ferocious storms where waves crashed over its deck testing its resilience it remembered the victorious battle cries of eric and his crew and the sweet taste of triumph on their lips and it held the image of a breathtaking sunset over the foreign land, a moment of peace and beauty in the midst of chaos. Years turned into centuries and the world above changed. The long serpent slept undisturbed, a silent guardian of the past, but the echoes of its journey still remains, waiting to be discovered. In a bustling construction site in the heart of a modern city, Bulldozers rumbled, clearing the ground for a new skyscraper. The earth, once undisturbed, gave way under the pressure, revealing the large wooden structure buried beneath. A construction worker, wide-eyed with shock, called out, Hey, what is that? The site transformed quickly from a construction zone to an ar archaeological dig. With experts and historians flocking to the scene, their excitement palpable on their faces as they carefully ex excavated the remains of the long serpent. The ship, now unearthed, was a stunning piece of history, a tangible link to the Viking Age. The archaeologists worked meticulously, their tools gentle against the aged wood. Each uncovering brought new revelations and stories long forgotten coming to light. The long serpent, once mighty, now stood as a bridge between the past and the present. As the sun set over the excavation site, one could almost hear the echoes of a time long gone. The serpent's journey had come full circle from the depths of the ocean to the embrace of the earth and finally back to the light of day. The discovery of the long serpent was more than just an archaeological find. It was a rediscovery of a legacy, a testament to adventures of the Vikings, and a reminder of the enduring spirit of exploration and bravery. The ship had once again captured the imagination of those who looked upon it, much like it had centuries before. More years passed and the painstaking restoration of the long serpent was complete. The ancient vessel, once a warrior of the waves, now stood proudly in the Grand Museum, its timbers carefully preserved and pieced together, told tales of adventure, bravery, and exploration. The museum hall buzzed with activity as visitors from all walks of life came to see the legendary ship. Children, their eyes wide with wonder, pointed excitedly at the dragon head. But in the museum, amidst the crowd, a young girl stood before the long serpent, her eyes wide with wonder. Her features bore a striking resemblance to Eric as the history, as if history had come full circle. She gazed at the dragon head, her imagination ignited by the tales of old. The ship with its intricate carvings and storied past seemed to call out to her, whispering of adventures yet to be had. As the young girl stood there, a spark of adventure lit up in her eye, much like it had for Eric centuries ago. The legacy of the Vikings encapsulated in the Long Serpent reminds all who see it of the daring spirit that once roamed the seas. Um, and so the long story of the serpent came to a close, not in the annals of history, but in the heart of a young girl ready to write her own saga, the call of the sea, though faint, resonated deeply and the Viking spirit of exploration lives on in her and us. 
over ever inspiring and ever eternal.